ശ്രീമാഗിയാൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മനുഷ്യൻ സകല സൽപ്രവർത്തിക്കും വക പ്രാപിച്ച് തികഞ്ഞവരാകേണ്ടതിനും ഉപദേശത്തിനും ശാസനത്തിനും ഗുണീകരണത്തിനും നീതിയിലെ അഭ്യസത്തിനും പ്രയോജനമുള്ളതാകുന്നു And the very first uh, evening that we were uh, meditating for the word of God, that we talked that, that uh, all the scriptures is uh, uh, God's breath for inspiration of God and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect. thoroughly furnished and do all good works nidile abhyasathinu prayojanam ulladagu it says that uh, it is uh, good for everything for profitable and for learning appa deiva neethi kanusarichu nammale abhyasippikkunnathu nammale train cheynathu word of god and the word of god is the one who was training unto the according to the righteousness of god adondu thodarna adhyayathil apostola ningane thanne parnu thodangiyana ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെയും ജീവികൾക്കും മരിച്ചവർക്കും ന്യായവിസ്താരം നടത്തുവാനുള്ള യേശുക്രിസ്തുവിനെ സാക്ഷി വെച്ച് അവന്റെ പ്രത്യക്ഷതയും രാജ്യവും ചൊല്ലി സത്യം ചെയ്ത് കൽപ്പിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ടുപോകുമ്പോഴാണ് അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ജീവിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ഗ്രഹിക്കേണ്ട നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ എഴുതി ചേർക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യം എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ദിവസം ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ ന്യായാസനത്തിന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ നമ്മൾ നിൽക്കും Uh, we are all going to face the judgment seat of Christ. ഈ ദൈവ രാജ്യം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഈ ഈ പുതിയ ദൈവ സുവിശേഷം നമ്മളെ മനസ്സിലാക്കി തരുന്നത്. The New Testament gospel makes us understand about the kingdom of God. നമുക്കറിയ കർത്താവ് യേശുക്രിസ്തു വന്ന് ആദ്യം പ്രസംഗിക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങിയത് ദൈവ രാജ്യം സമീപമായിരിക്കുന്നു. We all know Christ started his mission uh, trip or uh, mission work uh, saying that the kingdom of God is at hand. primary as feature thanne parana deiva rajya samibam aayirikkunnanna in this primary stage he says that kingdom of god is so near and the book is now handy namakku keravanulla oru vali avan orukkuya and what it means is that he is preparing a way for us to enter into the kingdom of god oru nyaya pramanathine keelpadan kelliyanna manasse manushana deiva rajyathe kadakkan saadhyatha illada vannapol ും <laughs> ചെയ്യുക <laughs> This is all is contained in in hidden in the word of God. നമ്മുടെ ഇന്ന ദൈവസഭകളിൽ ശാസിക്കുകയോ തർജ്ജനം ചെയ്യുകയോ പ്രബോധിപ്പിക്കുകയോ ചെയ്ത അന്നേരെ സഭ വിട്ടു പോകും. If in our church these days if a man of God come to rebuke or reprove the children of God who are supposed to be obedient to the word of God will leave the church. ആർക്കും അങ്ങനത്തെ ഉപദേശങ്ങൾ ഇഷ്ടമില്ല. No one one would like this kind of doctrine. പിന്നെ അവർക്ക് എന്താ ഇഷ്ടം? So what do they like? അവര് പത്യോപദേശം കൊടുക്കാതെ men they do not want to uh, contain the sound doctrine. പത്യോപദേശം they will not tolerate it. അവര് അത് tolerate ചെയ്യത്തില്ല. They do not want to tolerate the sound doctrine. എന്നിട്ട് കർണ്ണരസമാകുമാറ സ്വന്തം മോഹങ്ങൾ കൊത്തവണ്ണം ഉപദോഷ്ടാക്കന്മാരെ പേരിക്കും. With the itchy ears they want to hear beautiful word pleasing to them that they will increase preachers. എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി ഇക്കിളി പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ ആളുകളെ 
every one of the uh, people these days want to hear the only word that that will be pleasing to their each years satyathinte chevan kodukada kettukada irukku thiriyai cheyna kaalam varum and there is a time coming in order in, instead of giving ear to the word of truth they want to hear the the parables and stories namakku ee kaalagattathil ethum kududal nammal kelkunnathu vidudal anugraham these days we all hear the message of deliverance and blessing kathanaasu sankirtanam aichappol parnu neraana nadakkunavar poru nanmai devam odakkathilla when we were reading the book of psalms we heard that the god will not withhold any blessing for those who walk uprightly ellarum ivide kekkan varunnathu vidudal ennu parayna anugraham devondi blessings aanu everyone come to hear the word of god to hear the blessings and the deliverance aarkku upadesham venda nobody want to hear the doctrine so bonus amma eduthu and in the kalam paul wrote in those days the first century that a day is coming and so uh, uh, paul is exhorting uh, timothy that in everything you must endure everything kashta sahikiga and endure affliction affliction do the work of an evangelist ninda ninda shishusham nirambadi ayinu vartikkiya fulfill your ministry perfectly appo oru suvisheshakante joli endanu nu chodichal prabodhipikkiya tarjanam cheyuga shasikkiga what is the work of a pastor or a minister is that to reprove rebuke and teach the sound doctrine appusana parayana thanne kurichu ne yenamathe vaadithil parayana yan nalla por porudi and verse seven he say i have fought a good fight what am tigachu i have finished my course vishwasam kaathu and i have kept my faith ini neediyude kirida venikai vechiri therefore now laid up me a crown of righteousness appa porudi ennalla it's not that i, I am i fought nalla por porudi it says that i have fought a good fight edha varthene vajanathin agathu ninnu kondu thanne a porudi ennu what he saying that within the boundaries so the word of god i stood within the boundaries oh, and i fought a good fight oh, and he did not say that just that i ran but i finished my i finished my course odunavar athru verandu vasha avan tigikkina var athru verandu there are many who are running the race but who how many will finish the course vishwasam kaathu get the faith nadhe vishwasicha nalla vishwasam kaathu he is not saying i believe but he is saying i kept the faith till the end namakku ariya yohanan kathavinte adutha irukku kathavinodu choichu varuvanulla van neeyo as a john came sent his messengers to uh, jesus christ and asked that is that the one who promised the messiah who came kathavinte saakshiyayitta velichathinte saakshiyayitta vandavan kaaragrahathinte agathalangalil evadiyo avante vishwasathil avan idari poi the john the baptist as a forerunner of the lord jesus christ came to prepare the way for the lord came as a light but when he was shut up in prison there was a wavering in his faith actually avanu chindichu okike satyathinu saakshiyai devam aichittu oru manushan nu parnja yohana john was called as a man who was sent by god as a testimony for the truth tan karagrahathil ayna pol yesu kartha thanne porthu kondu vannu pradeekshichu and when he was a shut up in prison he had an expectation that the lord jesus christ will come and do a miracle and get me out of this place apache porthu kondu vannya pol avan offended aayi but the lord did not come and deliver him he became so offended adunda kartha varnje engal idari pogatha van okeyum bhagyavan that is why the lord jesus christ have said like this those who are not offended in my presence are the blessed one sammelana nalai nammada pradeekshikatha vannam deiva pravarthi kaanathu pol nammal offended somewhere along our line in our traveling we may not see according to our expectation we will have a an off, we will get offended jolichu pravashikkunnam ennu parnja vittundo vishwasathinte parishodhana vannappol mangi kattunavanai this one was uh, full of glory but the test of faith came he had a wavering faith adondanda vishwasam kaathannu parnjathu this is why it says that i have kept my faith adondanda karagrahathil kadakkumbol apostle parayan kaynu santoshippi 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 nanu yan pinne ningalodu parayan this is why apostle paul says even when he was in prison shut up he says rejoice again i say rejoice and rejoice rejoice forever more kathane nepol santoshippi he says again rejoice in the lord again i say rejoice 
Only a person who says like that, prophesies like that, can keep their faith. Therefore, when we examine the word of God, it should bring good things in our life. We are studying the word of God that man of God made, may made perfect. Okay, so in other words, what she's saying that she's not going to give a water down message. She's going to stand strong in the word of God and bring the word effectively. And I may okay. not appeal to many, but then this is what is entrusted with. Yeah, this may not appeal to many of you because you didn't expect this, but she's going to speak the sound doctrine from the word of God. Even though you will not upload for me, but my goal is that to you be found over there in glory land. I know tomorrow I have to give account to the Lord for this, so I am giving you, sharing you the thought that the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. Psalms 51, verse number 10, we are going to read. Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. The man who is called the man after God's own heart, David, he said, He said, create in me a clean heart. Only you can create something is not there. When he is writing all the previous nine verses, he came to the knowledge that somewhere there was a, a, a failure in his life. Because of that, he is saying, I don't have a clean heart within me. In verse 6, he said that you, God, you deserve the truth from the inward being of a man. God desires something from you that is deep within you. There, the Lord desires the truth from your life. When David devised a plan to take the wife of Uriah, Bathsheba, when he played a, a game and took his wife and all the things happened, he said, now I know within me there is something wrong. Nathan the prophet came and pointed his finger toward David and uh, proclaimed his fault through the prophecy and immediately he recognized the failure in his life. Immediately came to the knowledge by the light of the Holy Spirit, David is writing Psalm 51. He is saying, Lord, I have sinned against you only, I have sinned. I have sinned against you and you only I have sinned. I have done something displeasing to you. There, the reason behind is that within me there is no clean heart. Therefore, my need today is that you must create a clean heart within me. Not only that, you have to renew the right spirit within me permanently. You know, what I'm trying to say is when Sunday worship comes, we are so full of energy, full of spirit, but outside of church, how are we? Every time, round the clock, 
the spirit uh, that is permanent spirit he is saying that around the clock 34 hours uh, he is going to carry you through now I know that the problem that I have is uh, within me the problem is inside of me and the first uh, point of uh, be, uh, uh, deliverance is that first and foremost we must understand there is a problem within us we all know the other people's problem uh, we point out the failure of others we say that person that lady that man has this problem but do you know your own problem the first phase of deliverance is that once we come to recognize our own fault David, David came to the knowledge that my heart is not pure, it is a corrupt heart. My heart is a bad heart. If so, Lord, you give me a new heart. When I did not admit my failure within me, when I kept quiet, when I kept silence, because of the day and night of mourning and groaning, my bones waxed old or rotten bones. When I kept quiet and did not open up about my sin to God, it affected my only and my only life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we keep silence about our failure before God, it is only going to affect our, us. I, it says that I have uh, uh, recognized, I called out my sin unto you. I did not hide my iniquity. What uh, I have done is first uh, I fixed my life, I put my life in order. This morning I want to bring you this message. Instead of fixing the outside problem, you fix your own problem first. Inside all the problem rectify, yeah, the outside problem rectify, yeah, You cannot rectify the problem outside before you clean your problem within yourself. If you say you have a headache, something is wrong within of you. You get a headache as a side effect of your problem that is within you. In order for to get a healing on for your headache, you must fix your internal organ that is causing you the headache. You cannot solve a problem outside of a church before you fix the problem inside of a church. If you want a deliverance in your life, personal life, you must solve your problem within your, your life. Well, in the epistle of Corinthians, Paul says that when your obedience, when it comes to completion, and uh, uh, he will fulfill your obedience. Second Corinthians uh, chapter 10. Second Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 6, it says that when having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when you, your obedience is fulfilled. When you are uh, fulfilling all the revenge in obedience, uh, God will fulfill through Christ obedience in your life. Uh, wife will uh, say the husband is at fault. The Lord will say, wife, you fix your life first, then I will take care of the man. The husband will say, the wife is not right. 
the lord will say you take you fix your life first then i'll take care of your wife but god's desire is uh, first uh, you set your life in order Uh, as apostle is writing the epistle of Ephesians uh, from chapter 4 i therefore the prisoner of, of the lord beseech you ningale vilichirikkunna vilikke yogyamagum vannu poornaviniyathodu saumyathodu dirgashamayodu kuda nadakkuga you walk the walk worthy of your call with all lowliness and meekness and with long suffering we know the call that is upon our life in the epistle of john it says that behold how manner of privilege that the lord have given us that we might be called the sons of god the epistle of hebrew chapter 3 it says that those who are called are with the heavenly calling the call that is upon our life is the heavenly call it shows that the call is upon you in a position to make you as the sons of god if we are so much privileged kind of people and we must walk with that privilege upon the face of the earth in this world we walk according to the privilege that is put in our life in another words when you are living a life upon the face of the earth you must walk the heavenly walk hallelujah hallelujah yani eppadi parayna oru kaaryam undu i don't know how much you will enjoy it whether you like it or whether you will accept it but that's not my issue but che ivide first phase il nammal ariyam roma lekana and whether you like it or not i would like to say the first phase as book of romans chapter 12 it says that we must be living a life with the renewing of our mind there must be a transformation in in your life the inner man of your life the one who have changed transformed with the renewing of his mind and only that transformed one will be transformed when the trumpet of the lord will sound amen in the book of hebrew the apostle paul is writing it says that those who are waiting for the blessed hope of his appearance then he is going to come for them he said those who are waiting for the blessed hope for their salvation he is going to come again second time the lord jesus christ is going to come for the bride who is prepared herself ready for the appearance of the lord he is coming for the one who is ready to uh, see him the book of revelation chapter 3 we read like this verse 14 onwards Uh, right unto the uh, angel of the church of Laodicean the commandment of the amen and the faithful and the true witness from the beginning of the creation i know your works praise god amen i know your work you say one things whatever you say whatever you think is not saying like that but he says i know what you're doing neither your heart nor your cold if you were cold or hot it would have been better ശീതോഷ്ണമാനാകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ നിന്നെ എൻ്റെ വായിൽ നിന്ന് ഉമിട്ട് കളയും 
it says that uh, if you are hot or if you are cold, I could bear, bear you. But instead, you are being a lukewarm. Because you are lukewarm, I'm going to spew you or I'm going to spit, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. Spit you out. Either you be a perfect saint, either you be a strong faith, faith, uh, uh, believer, otherwise just walk around like a common person. Uh, you are no use for God or the people of the church when you don't have the quality of God. If you are in the church, if you are not behaving according to your call, you are not doing any good for the church or not for your life. Only you come here if you really have the desire to go there when he comes. I heard a, a, a person praying like this, about a person who prayed like this. There is 25,000 people in the congregation, he's praying. It's a mega church, he's praying again, Lord, send me another 25,000 members to this church. The, 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 the thing, the norm of this age, these days are mega churches. I already have uh, 25,000, but I need, I need another 25,000. We say, look at the pastor's vision. He's got a good vision. Praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. But heaven is not approving it. <laughs> the Lord asked, how many 20, out of 25,000 will go into heaven when he comes? And he said, Lord, I don't know. But then the Lord said, you talk to me, you ask me. So the pastor asked the Lord, Lord, if you come today, how many of our church will be taken into heaven? <laughs> and the Lord said, out of 25,000, only 48 will go to heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how many came into this place. It does matter how many will go to heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Either you be cold or hot. Otherwise, because you are lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out. You say that I am rich of everything. I am full of things. But I, am, I have no need of nothing. If somebody come to correct you, you say, I don't need it, I'm full of everything, I don't need a correction. When the message comes, you should speak to yourself. You must understand the Lord is speaking to you. There are, is there any areas in my life that need to be corrected? We must have a self-examination. You say that you are saying like this, I am rich, I am increased with good things, I have, I have no need of nothing. You are saying that I have BMW, I have Benz, I have a car, I have a house, I have everything. You are claiming that you are rich of everything. When you are saying all this, then boasting yourself all the full thing, fullness in your life, you don't even know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. And you do not even know your situation. You do not even know how you are before God. In the face of the world, you have everything. You say, I am full of riches and full of good things and I am need of nothing. God 
God is saying, you're wretched, miserable, poor and blind and naked. And you don't even know this. Hallelujah. Amen. I counsel you to buy me gold tried in fire that you may be rich and white raiment that you may be clothed and the sh that the shame of your nakedness do not appear and I know it your eyes with eye slides uh, that you may see better. You can only get this if you only pay a price. God is saying that I am counseling you today. If you want to be rich before God, you must pay a price. He says that whom I love, I rebuke and chasten. The one thing really touches me and fascinates me, it says in the book of Hebrew chapter number 12, Hebrew chapter 12 verse 7 it says like this if you endure chastening God dealeth with you as with his sons for what son is whom the father chasteneth not but if you be without chastening Chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. Amen. Uh, you are a fatherless. You don't know your father. If you are sons, you will get punishment from the father. Whatever you have done wrong, if you are not getting a punishment, it means that you are not really child of God. It doesn't mean that you are walking right. Just understand this, your name is not written as one of the child of God. If you are a son, when you do wrong, you will be punished. When you continue doing all wrong things and if you are not punished, when you are doing, continuously doing wrong and you are not being punished, means you are not listed as a son. And many people think when you do all the wrong and getting away with it, they think, oh, I'm okay, I, I'm very well, but God is probably approving me. No, it's not likewise. This is why book of Psalm number 50, it says, when you do all this wrong and I am keeping quiet, don't think that I am just a person like you. When God, when God keeps silence, don't think that God is like us. It's a book of Revelation chapter 19, it says like this. It says that as the bride, she herself made ready. And if so, we must make ourselves ready. The preacher who is invited or the prophet that came from somewhere is not making you ready. You must make yourself ready. You must look in the mirror of the word of God and prepare your life. This is why Apostle is saying that you have a heavenly calling upon you. And you must walk worthy of that heavenly call. You must walk upon the face of the earth worthy of the heavenly call that you might reach there. Don't ever think that you can walk any way and which way in the face of the earth and you can get there. Teachings 
And many teachings are, uh, false teachings are out there these days that because we are living in uh, the age of grace, uh, you can do wrong yesterday, you can do the wrong today, and tomorrow's wrong. All have been forgiven. Meaning of the age of grace is that, that you have fallen, there is an opportunity because of the grace for you to come back. In, in the Old Testament period, there was no opportunity for a fallen man to come back, but the age of grace given you an opportunity to restore, a, a total restoration in your life. The woman who was caught on adultery, heaven did not allow she should be punished. But instead, the commandment was, go and sin not again. Sin no more. Amen. Sin no more. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have saved your life from death, but do not continue in sin. The man who was sick for 38 years by the pool of Bethesda, Jesus Christ has said, Now listen. So no more worse thing will come into your life. Do not sin anymore. You have been set apart for the heavenly calling to take you into heaven. Israel is called as a holy nation. The meaning of holy nation is that you are set up for God by God. You are set apart by God for His purpose. God has set you apart for His use. You should walk accordingly on the face of the earth. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse number 17. I therefore I testify in the light of God that you now onwards do not walk as other Gentiles walk in vanity in their, in their, in their mind. Because their eyes of understanding is darkened, being alienated from, alienated from God, and the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. With the great greed, they are surrendering their life to do all kind of filthiness in their life. They are hardening their heart, uh, departing from the presence of God, doing all the, un all the filthy things in their life. But Apostle Paul is saying, but you are not like that, you are separated. Uh, there was a debate that took place among the disciples, who is the senior among us? Luke chapter 22 verse 24 there was a debate that came against among the disciples who is great among them and he, the, the Lord said that the king of this world is ruling controlling their life and uh, when uh, you are under the uh, 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 under that power you are being useful for him but you are not like them. In other words, we are separated from the other people. We are not same as the other people. The first lesson of discipleship is that we are separated, we are different than other people. Not because you have taken your earrings out. 
not because you took your necklaces out isha vadichathu kondu valla not because you shaved off your mustache white shirt full sleeve ittathu kondu valla not wearing a white uh, shirt with long sleeves it's a matter of understanding because you are separated by god for god for the kingdom of heaven it is a matter of understanding that you are separated by god for god for your uh, kingdom purpose deiva rajyathinu vendi deivathal deivam vaarvirichavara nammal we are the kind of people who are separated by god for his purpose logam cheynadhu pole cheya nalla deivam nammale vidichirikkunnu he did not call us to behave like the worldly people hallelujah 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 glory hallelujah aa tirichar ga nammade agathu varunde we should have the eyes of understanding open in our heart you are not like them ningala loga manushyan nanna different aanu you are different from the worldly people endha galathi lekana randa madhyayathilana thodi moona madhyayathilana apostle oru vaakyam parannu moonu indi galathi aanu galatians chapter 3 verse 27 apostle is saying like this christu nodu cheruvan snanam veidirikkunna ningal ellavarum christuvine tharichirikkunnu the as you have been baptized unto christ have put on christ and we have been selected by the lord to display the lord through our life logathinte athathola ente saakshigalagu ennu parayumbol kartavine kaanichu kodukkan vendi kartavine al therinjedukapadu varan nammal when it says that you must be a witness unto him to the uttermost part of the world means that you must display christ in the walks of life to the worldly people through your life those who see you must see jesus christ through your life jaathi vandangal vardhamathil nadakkunna pole ningal nadakkirathu the 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 gentiles walk in their way in conversation but you are not to walk in that way ningalo yeshuvil satyam ullathu pole avane kurichu kettu avane upadesham lebichengal christuvine kurichu ingane alla padichathu in the first chapter 4 verse 20 it says that you came to me and you heard my voice and you studied from me and then you woke up walk accordingly ingana alla padichu jaathigal padichu thalla ningal padichathu you did not learn what gentiles learn hallelujah munbulathe nadappu sambandhichu your walk before chadimohangalal vashalai poguna palaye manushane upeshikkanam you must put off the old man that is deceiving you You must discard the old man in it that was in you. That was a deceptive man. Discard it. I am not saying that. If I use microphone, they will ask me to jump. I will not do that. Discard it. Discard doesn't mean that I grab something from other person. No, he will have to say that. That is a bad thing. If I say that something that is in me it doesn't fit me, so I'm going to just throw it away. That is called discard. Yenna kalle ni kine microphone ni kine doshi ni, na thoman ni kine ni the venda. Yenna nyam madasila ki nyam kalle ni na discard ni. Something that is in your hand is causing you trouble. It's not fitted for you, and so you made up your mind and say, I'm going to throw it away. That is called discard. Sabey chenna ma maale uri na thoman ni adu mande sabey mane ma maale uri. Person adu eche chango tarum ma idu na the discard ni. You know, people say when you come to church, do not wear ornaments. So what they do? They come to church, put all their ornaments in purse and hide them. When you leave the church, then you put it on. Is that means you are discarding ornament ornaments? Other than discarding, or any kind of event, it's not discarding. If you make up your mind and say, I don't want this, and then throw it away. That's your own decision. It's your own decision. I think that you are not doing that. There is no law concerning yeah, what you must do. It is our own personal decision, individual choice that I don't want this because it doesn't fit me. Chadi Mohan Kumar Marshal, I forget the pronunciation. The old man that was full of deception. Nimma Chadi Kinnna Karnal Man Andalo, a pronunciation. The Karnal Man that is in you that is always deceiving you. Nimma Pavathil Ekkuvittu Munna Karnal Man Andalo. That Karnal Man in you that carrying you into commit sin. that man must be put away adonda sthanathil varan sthanam parayma parayna pade manushine avanodu uda krushikkanam and this is why during baptism we say that you must crucify the old man through baptism ninna chadikkana ninna kattu paavam cheyikkana pade manushine nee krushikkanam that old man causing you trouble deceiving you you must make your own mind and say i am going to put away this man avane nee krushikkanam ellada pastor alla pravadhi 
you must crucify that old man uh, by your own choice not the pastor of the church not the visiting pastor or the prophet who is visiting enna pa chadicha enna nithyatha thagarthukale enna avane njan aakrushikkendiyathu the one who is deceiving me who is causing me to lose my eternity and i am made up my i have made up my mind to put away that man and with and you must renew yourself with it the holy spirit that is given to you agam the renewal nadakkanam and the renewal must start inside satyathinte bhalamaya neethiyilum vishuddhiyilum devana rupamaya srushtikkapatta pudhiya manushane dalikkanam you must put on the new man that is created after the goodness and glory of the lord hallelujah hallelujah a pudhiya manushane eduthidanam and the new man must be put on and the old man must be buried because he is always deceiving you for what for that what should i do so uh, paul is saying that put away all the false put away all the lies and malice from your life and always talk truth with one another and i say if you cannot tell the truth just go away yaar enikku bhayangara ishtamaya nammada maana thoru oru payan oru hindu payan rakshikapettu snanapettu and in maama and got my maama and one of my neighbor uh, he came from a hindu background he was born again and he took water bath avana nammada veettil okka vanna pani okke cheyina oru cheriya cherpakarana he come to my home and do kind of a little work around my house and the election nadakku avade and the election is going on asamayath anjayanthi okka marsarikkunnanda and the niece ne anga kalyanam kaichirikkan anto anthony is uh, uh, running for the election he got married to my sister's daughter appo naan chumma ninnodi vechu nee aaka vote cheyidu and i asked uh, uh, anto uh, i asked him uh, this boy who did you vote for kari appo avan ariya ivarumayi enikku connection undu nu ariya and he knows that anto is my nephew adu kondu ivan parayana naan parayilla nu and he said i will not tell you enikku bayangara ishtam aayi poyadu i really liked him kada avan kala paraya vadathu kondu avan ninnu naan parayilla he didn't want to say anything he didn't want to lie so he said i will not mummy i will not tell who i vote for yeah. and i really enjoyed him i truly appreciated that i truly appreciate athre modha avan undallo parayathu kondu parayil nalladhu parayadirikkya and i thought he had the sense not to lie to me so he kept quiet ഇഷ്ടമില്ലാതെ <laughs> <laughs> and it says that if you get angry and anger if you get anger do not sin no there is sinful anger und there are sinful anger endo vanna anger vannittu nammale kondu kovam bondayittu nammale kondu paavam cheyikkina kovam und there are uh, many kind of different anger there and uh, there is uh, one kind of anger that you will get angry and you will do sin endo kovichal paavam cheyadirikkave it says angry and sin not sura nasthamikku ora kovam vechukondirikkene do not contain the anger within you till the uh, going down of the sun Make sure you put everything in order. Come to attempts before sunset. Suppose uh, uh, there was a hard conversation between husband and wife. It's a common thing. But she before the sunset, Sunday night, I organize no more. I don't know. Separate it. Before sunset, make sure you come to terms with the one another. But sorry, but I am very manas. I'm a coward. You must have the mind to say sorry. But she, I'm sorry. I'm not going to put it on the chuda. I can't do. But she, you should have a mind to apologize. The situation may have made you very bad temper, hard. But uh, you should uh, try to apologize. <laughs> before you go to sleep make sure all record is set clear naavale onaru pol namukku ariyathilla kattu we don't even know whether we going to wake up in the morning adu kondu sorry kattu njan angane nu parkke poy nu parayunnathu oru nadakkedilla and therefore you can say sorry i'm so sorry i just came uh, became a little angry and i made said this but i am very sorry about that it's okay to say that doctor anaiyum vendiyala engineer anaiyum vendiyala aaru anaiyum vendiyala oru sorry parayunnathu nattu oru kattu it doesn't matter if you are a doctor or an engineer or whoever you may be it's okay to say sorry 
you must be able to say each other sorry baba mechikondirunal sambhavikkunnathu pishaji nidan kodukkanadu do not give a room for say to me no i come up mechikondirki me say doorway for say to you actually when you are holding a hanger you are opening a doorway for say to you enter pishaji niyama niyamam lekkikkumbale nammal thalarkan avan anuvadam yes amen Satan only will take advantage of you when you break the law. नमलों तो मानसिक राखी एक ना तो वंड विषाणी नेटन गुड़ कर दे। Therefore, do not give room for Satan. अपने पर एक वरु डोर में आने शिक्षित। He's always searching for a door opening. याने एक ने वरु I forgot her name वरु मुस्लिम सावधानी ने testimony ने आई। I was reading a testimony of a sister who is who was a Muslim. भाई इंगर famous है ना वरु मैंने Pakistan में वरु minister डे finance minister डे वाई पे and she was a, a wife of a finance minister in pakistan avare testimony nechil okke unda peru orkum njan parayu avare engane bible vaaikkan thodangi compare cheyindu quran vaayittu vaaiche avare deiva sannithyam anubhavikkan and she started studying the bible and comparing quran with it and then she came to understanding and she became a christian deiva direct aayittu avaru maayittu edavan thodangi yes god directly started to deal with this avare uh, and she took water baptism and she came to the lord uh, pakistan is a muslim said it by the offense and it offended most of the uh, muslims in pakistan and the society even condemned she and the society condemned this woman and her testimony and i they are calling father for the other day testimony it is like forgot her name ah apo when avare ellavaru when cold shoulder it and uh, there is a book that she wrote i dare call him father it's a very good to buy and read and uh, everybody we, uh, gave a cold shoulder to bill, him bilkis shake that is her name bilkis shake amen that's her name appo oru kalyanathina oru function ivare vilichu she was invi- invited for a wedding ceremony appo lord said you go nu parayu and god told her to go she avada chennittu aari ivarudu samsarikkade when she went there nobody talked to her avare ellavaru cold shoulder edi ingana avare suffocated aayi she received a cold shoulder and she felt felt very uh, uncomfortable there after after uncomfortable aayidu konda avare she went out avare porthu poi she was so uncomfortable she went outside porthu poi but she had a tea also and uh, when she went outside she got a tea appo thirichi varu vandappo when she came when she returned uh, one of her relatives asked uh, uh, bilkis where did you go nu chodichu avare oru oru family yodney avadu poi athra nera ellarum undadirikke but she went poi she vandu ne or cousin avaru chethu bilkis where did you go evada all this their family members did not talk to her but when she returned one of the cousin asked where did you go odane ivaru pattana parthi i went to have a tea nu parthi she said i went to get a cup of tea cup of tea suddenly in the presence of god uh, um, left her immediately the presence of the lord departed her avaru enna panic cheyan thodangi she got panicked she cried and said lord i cannot live without you where are you oh oh or i didn't want to avoid you she built this thing and the kalam parna and the god the father asked why did you lie with this she said what lie did i say she said what lie i said he said ne endu na poyada god said why why did you go outside avaru parney ennoda aare mundade enna pa enikku and rashasthamaya pa njan poyada i became so uncomfortable because nobody talked to me i left pinna ne endu na avarodu parna ni chaaya kudikkan na poyada then why did you say i went outside to get a cup of coffee hallelujah hallelujah avaru chaaya kudichu adu satyam thana she drank a cup of tea that is avaru poyadina reason adalla but she did not go outside for that reason kathavalodu parni oru cheriya lie lie thaneya the god told her a small lie is also a big lie she could have said that aaru vidada enna pa enikku budhimuttu thoni pa njan poyada nu parna that's the truth she could have said that i went outside because i felt comfortable because nobody was talking to me you would have been true namada jeevathil nu nokki ke tons and tons of lies are namada if you look at your life today how many tons of tons of lies you say day by day kada devam aagrikina or honest heart are god is looking for an honest heart amen hallelujah adu kondu nokki ke namada deiva pishaji netan kodukkarade It says that do not give room for Satan. Or a door be even knocking on the door. And the devil could not tell him for a few can many patterns or all kinds of things. And, 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 and uh, Satan is looking for an opening so he can enter in and in, uh, for her to lie. Satan uses another person. Or a legal entry that he has not even given a pardon to knock on the door. And he was looking for a legal entry into a person's life. That is why he is not pardoning our 
ജീവിതത്തിലെ അടക്കണം we must close all the entrances do not get angry towards anyone ഇന്നത്തെ വാക്യം കേട്ടോണ കള്ളൻ ഇനി കർത്താവിനെ മുട്ടുള്ളവന് ദാനം ചെയ്യാൻ ഉണ്ടാകണ്ടേന കൈ കൊണ്ട് നല്ലത് പ്രവർത്തിച്ച് അധ്വാനിക്ക അത്ര വേണ്ടി it says that the thief must not do any more thievery but instead labor with own hand and do good things അപ്പോൾ ഈ കള്ളൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ആര മോഷ്ടിക്കുന്നവനാണ് who is the thief yeah, is it the one who around and steal things ennu varthe onnu adhwanikkada vallo okke medikkinavane aanu aarikku thodiyilatha kallu endu parayunnathu i believe this is written about the thief is about the one who doesn't do any work with hand and he's just collecting money oru pani cheyada mattullavare oosi kaliyunnadana moshanam ennu parayunnathu i believe that stealing is without doing any work and steal, taking advantage of other people and collecting money you are bombing others kari oru pani cheyanda chumma devadu nelle endellum kittu they don't want to do anything but always uh, uh, getting money from other people adond ini endha cheyana nee adhwanichu puttullavanu kuda kodukkanam it says that now one wants you work hard and uh, give uh, 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 others who are in need ini njan parayunnathu ningal onnu kuda shraddhichu now i'm going to ask you one more thing ini thappada vakya aadi vare itta ellarum veetti poyirundhi aadi chaadu ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 you should underline and everybody should take it home and read it let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers appo enikku ariya ningal parayna yan ipo kettondirikkya and uh, i know that uh, uh, i am hearing you what you are saying endi aandi angana ane mindane okkathillallo and andi if so i cannot even talk hallelujah yekkunavarku kripa labikkandadine aathmiya vartana varundene allatha onnu mindalla nu parayna njangalku mindane pattikkalallo if i can only say the thing that will give edification to others for the spiritual enrichment that, that they will be full of grace then i cannot speak at all amen hallelujah is it time igane matlike matchullavare kurichu dooshanam parayunnathu okka nirthan samayam ayille is it the time for you to uh, talk false about other people and stop talking false about other people yakobinte lekhana apostle nedama chodichu ore uravil nanna the epistle of james it says that can bitter water and the uh, sweet water come out the spring of water come out of the same uh, same oh, spring yakobu jalekana moonam adhyayathinte aaramathe vakyathil anje aara vakyathil parana angana naam cheri avengil valare vaappu parayna kurainja ni etra valiya kaadu kattikunu naam ude thi thanne adu nammade avayangalude kootathil aneediyude logamayi dehathe muluvan malinamaakki മനുഷ്യർക്കാർക്കും it's tamed and has been tamed of men can but the tongue can no man tame ad adangatha dosham maranamaya vishan naranjade adinal nam kartavu vidavine sthudikkunu devathinte saadhyam undaya manushine adinal shabikkunu it is unruly evil full of deadly poison therewith we bless god even the father and there we curse men which are made after the similitude of god ore oru vaayinu thanne stotram shabavum porapadu out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing sagar marigal aarikkunnathu yogyam alla my brother these things ought not so to be yan chodikkatte ee pakal kaalam nammada aadharam unna devgarangal elpichu adine kishtam illatha ee yan samsharikkunnathu theeruvane edukkan etra vaka dhairyam undu how many have the courage to take a decision lord i am going to surrender my tongue I will not talk bad about other people and without your uh, with which is not pleasing me. Agamatha donna nammada vaayil ninnu porappadendu. It's no by vain thought words should come out of your mouth. Angane sambhavikkumbol adutha vaakyathil paraya devathinte parishuddha aathmaavine ningal dukkipikkanu. And if you are doing so you are grieving the holy spirit. Kada devathinte parishuddha aathmaavine dukkipikkya. You are grieving the holy spirit. When you are talking others muttering others cursing others have been all these things it's scream the holy spirit when you are uh, saying all these bad things and uh, cursing others and uh, saying bad things you are really grieving the holy spirit yan oru karyam kuda parayam let me say one more thing dushanam parayunnathu pole thetta kekkunnathu you know 
it is equal listening to the backbiting just like you're saying the, the things of, of backbiting others you say you're not saying you're only listening but listening to the bad words is same as speaking the bad things they are telling you because you are willing to listen to them Amen. Amen. You should politely tell them, you know, I, I am a little busy, so I'll call you back. Amen. When somebody say bad things about other person, you say, sister, I'll call you back, I'm a little busy. Then you'll be okay. And the communication is increased these days. And we can use this uh, uh, media for our benefit or we could use it for to destroy our life. We can take the phone and pray for one another. We can preach the gospel through the phone. We can inquire about the well-being of our We can console on this. But we can use the same thing for bad things. Whatever is given unto us should be used for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. And every bitterness, malice and every false things may depart from you. Some people do not display the anger, but within inside they are full of bitterness. Yes. Amen. The, the root of bitterness is there, you must pluck it away. Yes. 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 Amen. You know, inside there is so much bitterness and the root of bitterness and outside praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Let that depart from you, praise God. Keep off that. Keep off that, praise God. One to another, be kind and gentle. As the Lord has forgiven you, you have forgiven one another. Praise God. The, uh, the, the most uh, the sin in our life is unforgiving heart. Yes. Amen. Praise God. There is no reason in your life that you should not forgive to others. There is, there is no providence in your life. If God has forgiven you, you must forgive. You have uh, so much complaint about other person, you are writing it down and keeping it within you. And all your wrong is God is writing in this book. God says, if you are willing to tear this off, I will be willing to tear yours off. If you don't tear this off, I will not tear your paper. This is why the Lord taught that you have you forgive our sins as we have forgiven our debtors. When we stand in prayer, if we have something something against another person hiding in your heart, God will not hear the prayer. And uh, that's why the Lord Jesus Christ has taught in the Gospel of Mark. When you come to pray, if you have something against someone, Forgive them so the Lord will forgive you and answer your prayer. And if you do not forgive, our Heavenly Father will not forgive your debts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 it says that if therefore you listen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Amen. 
അതിന്റെ പ്രവൃത്തികളോട് അന്വാനേഷൻ ഉരിഞ്ഞു കളഞ്ഞ് നമ്മെ സൃഷ്ടിച്ചവന്റെ പ്രതിമ പ്രകാരം പരിജ്ഞാനത്തിനായി പുതുക്ക പ്രാപിക്കുന്ന പുതിയ മനുഷ്യനെ ധരിച്ചിരിക്കും therefore you continue reading that chapter verse 9 and then it says that seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him if so this morning how many are willing to surrender for this lord i want to set my life in order i want to put away the things that is not pleasing to you i want to put away my old man and i am willing to put on the new man so help me god holy spirit and help me jay holy spirit help me lord help me to forgive others lord help me to take put away i want to put away the lying tongues I have anger in my life Lord put it away Lord I don't want I don't want to take advantage of others Lord let me labor and earn my living So I surrender my life Every eye is closed Let us surrender ourselves in my behalf Let us be uh, received when the Lord comes Uh, we must be appearing before the lord when he come to take away the bride who made herself ready therefore this morning i surrender my life to you lord you wash me and cleanse me lord help me to walk in the newness of life therefore i surrender my life let us all sing the song and the surrender Let everyone stand their own place. <laughs>